Hi everybody. So I'm back. I think it's been one, two, three, four, five, or a few months <laughs> since my last Facebook Live, which was on my birthday. So yeah, I'm back and I'm um, however many months older than I was then when it was my birthday. So it's been uh, it's been amazing being on Facebook so far. You guys have all been amazing, and um, I can't thank you enough for all the love and support and interest you have shown. And um, yeah, sorry it's taken a while, but um, I can tell you one thing that we have my team who's here with me, Mayuri. She has um, gotten some questions that have been there over the last few months, and basically we. She's printed them out for me, and some of the ones that I've liked, I'm gonna answer. And then, of course, I'm gonna answer all of you amazing people there. Hi! There's some Sonam, how are you? Hello, Kishan, hi, hi everybody. So, I'm gonna read some of the questions, and this is, these are questions that we've got on Facebook over the last few months, and we just picked randomly a few of them, okay? So, hmm. Something you cannot be subjected to for very long. So something I cannot be subjected to for very long are two kinds of people. Lazy people and foolish people. I think the answer uh, explains itself. Lazy people because um, I think everyone just needs to work hard all the time. And foolish people because um, I don't think anybody likes fools. Are you into acronyms, especially the ones millennials use? Now here's maybe where you guys can help me out and tell me what is a millennial? What is a millennial? The currency. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, this is where I expose myself. Not really um, up to date with the, you know, terms and all. Any particular one you find bizarre? For example, YOLO. You only live once. Um, FOMO. Fear of missing out, of course. An NSFW. Not safe for work. I have never heard anyone say that. But I just have a question, guys. Instead of these acronyms. Like, are we short on words or are we running out of time? I mean, like, where is everyone going? Why can't we just, you know, say the whole sentence properly? Like, why are we abbreviating everything so much? Like, if I have to say, oh, guys, you know, I couldn't make it to the party tonight and I'm really upset. How did it go? Like, did I miss anything? Why can't we just say that instead of FOMO? So that's my thought there. Uh, so no, I don't use acronyms. I like typing out long messages and I really like, you know, I like starting, getting to my point, wrapping it up, adding in a joke. So I'm, I'm a big believer in long, long text messages. So let's find another question. If I instructed a college class, what would it be? So I have decided that the best college class, the best class I would teach in college if I had to, is algebra. Just because, just to see how it goes. See, Mayuri, just ask me what do you teach? <laughs> just ask me what do you teach? What do you teach? I teach the algebra class. See how that, see how that works? This, uh, doesn't all of a sudden, don't you all of a sudden look at me with these eyes of, oh wow, that's amazing. I mean, that's just, it just sounds really cool. So definitely if I had to be teaching a class, it would be algebra. It just sounds good, it makes me look good. One superpower, if I had, what would it be? Very simple, guys. Read people's minds. <laughs> Do I need to explain to you why? <laughs> Everything would be sorted in life. You would walk in, I would know what you thought, I would know if you should be my friend, I would know what you would do, I would know how you feel about me. Life would be simple. It would be happy, we would never be broken hearted, we would never be uh, betrayed, we would never be upset, we would just be um, happy people. So yeah, superpower, read people's minds. Please give me God. <laughs> movie, movie that made you cry. That one is easy. Movie that made me cry is um, Urta Punjab for two reasons. I cried in the movie because it was genuinely touching and moving and sad. Um, and the other reason I cried is because I wasn't in the movie. And it wasn't me who had done that role and it wasn't me who had done that performance. So yeah, there, were, there was crying in the movie and there was crying after the movie, unfortunately. Okay, one second. Katrina, somebody had a, had a request to do more movies and attend more award shows. I didn't get your name, but whoever you are, I'm just going to tell you that I am. It is on my to-do list to attend more award shows. And I am going to be doing more performances in the next uh, few weeks, in the next two months. So, 
yes i promise you that is on my to-do list and i will be attending more shows okay so i'm gonna go back to some questions here and then i'm gonna come back there oh harshita is saying the painting behind me is lovely yes it is a lovely painting i agree with you it's a beautiful painting um okay there's someone whose name i can't read because i can't see that far from the mauritius that's a beautiful place i wish i was there hi how are you guys doing um so i'm gonna go back and choose one more question if i could perform in any music video in history which one would it be so i think i'm going to choose michael jackson's in the closet which of course is the one with michael jackson and naomi campbell i just think it's one of the most beautifully shot kind of cool edgy videos which is there and um, needless to say if you're going to be in a music video it should be with michael jackson if this interview needed a soundtrack what would i play you guys know that song by ellie golding love me like you do yeah because that would be really nice it would just feel like you know everyone loves me and you guys love me and i love you and yeah it would just be appropriate moment i have felt the most nervous so i'll tell you guys a little secret i'm not sure if it's a secret or people have already realized it when i have to speak in public i get really nervous when i have to go on a platform where i'm speaking to a large audience you can send me on a platform to dance you can send me on a on a film set to act in front of a lot of people but the minute you send me on a platform to speak in front of a live audience i get classic stage fright like my hands go cold my stomach is is churning and my mouth goes dry it is torture and if anyone out if any of you guys out there get stage fright then you'll know what i mean it is torture i feel so bad for anyone who has stage fright including myself favorite comedy movie i would like to star in i'm going to choose a film which came last year or the year before uh and that film is deadpool i don't think you guys need to ask me why i just thought it was just i thought it was just the greatest movie ever i loved him i loved the movie i loved everything in it and um yeah i hope someone remakes it and we can just remake it here in hindi i'll star in it okay hmm. i'm almost out of my questions and i'm going to take questions from you guys very soon i only have uh, okay two more best way to decompress or de-stress so um here's my advice for anyone who wants to decompress or de-stress it's a three step plan you can do one step two step third step you can do it in any order that you like i'll just give you the three uh steps and you guys can do it in any order that you like so first step for me is go to the gym second step is throw yourself in a pile on the floor and cry Third step is go and meet your friends and eat pizza and chocolate cake. And I'm pretty sure if you do these three things in any order, you can change the order. You will be de-stressed and you will definitely have decompressed. So that's my little bit of advice. Myri agrees with me. Yep. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna ask answer some questions from you guys. Hi Manjul. Hi Katrina. I'm a big fan of you, but I want to ask you. Oh. Manju says feels that I'm not genuinely happy sometimes. So what it is Manju is actually that um I always I think you can always see through me. I'm very transparent. So if if there's ever a time where I'm out at a function and a thought comes into my head, I'll never like put a face on for somebody. So you can always see what's on my face. I'm very very transparent. I guess that's why um I went into acting. So yeah, you can at least the good thing with me is you can always know what I'm thinking. If you're ever talking to me or if you ever meet me, if you're in front of me, you will know. My face shows every emotion if I'm happy, if I'm distracted, if I'm sad. So yeah. But um I am happy right now. I'm happy talking to you guys. Let's see. There is uh Chandan. Hi Chandan. Which young actor do you admire the most in current industry? Hmm. It's a good question. I believe that uh Sushant was very very good in um Dhoni which just released and um I met my friend Gattu a few days back who of course is the director of Fitur who I worked with recently and he said that he has done some amazing work so I believe congratulations to him. 
Shamsad, 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 Sheikh, please say hi to me. Hi. One flying kiss. Hmm. That's a flying kiss to you. I couldn't see your name. Someone is asking my favorite actor. Does anyone know Clark Gable? So I love his movies. I think he's the ultimate classic all-time hero. Favorite musical band. Anushka is asking what is my favorite musical band. So my favorite musical band is... Um, I've got a few, but currently I would say um, Mumford & Sons. I also am listening to Ellie Goulding. Um, also listening to Coldplay, honestly, whose latest album is really, really good. Um, but so is Eddie Goldin's latest album. Those are the two albums I'm listening to, and sometimes I've been listening to Rihanna, but mainly in the gym. Karan says, I like the way you talk. Thanks, Karan. <laughs> Not everyone does. It's a, it's a, it's an acquired taste. <laughs> Buddy, Buddy Mark. That's an interesting name. Buddy Mark. I like that name. Future Projects. So, Buddy Mark. Uh, my future projects, I think, I believe in the end of March, first week of April, uh, Anurag Basu's film Jaga Jasus will be releasing, which will be exciting after uh, it's been in the making for a while now, but um, Dada is an amazing director, I'm sure you guys all agree with me, and I can't wait to see the final film, so I'm super excited about that. And that's going to be in April, and in December, I believe, I'm not sure of the date, but in December, the sequel to Ekta Tiger will be releasing. So that's gonna be also fun. Sky, what a beautiful name. What's your next project? Sorry, I just answered you that one. Um, Shubankar is asking, what's that picture behind? Mughli Azam, no, I think. Yeah, I think it's a picture from Mughli Azam. <laughs> okay. I think I need to wear glasses. <laughs> okay so um do you like oops sorry there's a question but i don't know who that is so i can't say that someone says i like your hair thank you very much i combed it especially for this interview i brushed it many times to make sure it look nice so thank you for liking my hair uh rahul is asking me cat uh can you please sing your favorite song no rahul i can't i just can't because it's not good. But just so you know, my favorite song, which I've said many times, is Bare Necessities from Jungle Book, because I just think it just sums up everything in life the way it should be. And actually, I just watched that movie last night, The Jungle Book, the, the movie one, the, which came out this year, this year, last this year? year, this year. And uh, yeah, it was it's just, a, it's a great movie. I need a friend like Baloo. I need a friend like Bagheera. I need a friend like, um, don't need any of the monkeys. Uh, no, Baloo and Bagheera. The, they they will do nicely and yeah family like the wolf back yeah. cool will be sorted Poonam is saying I love oh I love your simplicity thank you Poonam that's very sweet of you uh, Jishnu is asking what's your favorite movie I think I've answered that already but um, I can tell you some of my current favorite movies current favorite movies I've gone blank, sorry. I tend to go blank sometimes. So I watched a TV show. Uh, I've been watching a TV show called Peaky Blinders, which I really, really love. That was amazing. Um, favorite Hindi movie this year, uh, as I said, would be uh, Urta Punjab. I thought that was a great film. Um, yeah, I think so. Bhushan says, do I love to keep company with Alia? Yes, I do, actually. I do love to keep company with her. She's very, very, very sweet, and um, she's a lot of fun. Then there is someone with a very nice but very complicated name from Indonesia. I love you. I love you too, but I, I cannot pronounce that name. It's a long name. It didn't even fit in the screen there. Um, but yeah, hi from Indonesia. It's a beautiful place. Wish I was there. Um, so Ringa is asking, when will I act in a Tamil movie? I'm kicking people. Um, Tamil will be hard. I've done two Telugu films. I have done um, one Malayalam film and let me tell you it's very 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 tough. It's very very tough and um, it's uh, it's hard. So honestly I mean it would have to be an amazing amazing story but um, I do love some of the actors down there. I think they have some amazing actors and um, they do make some amazing films so you never know. Uh, okay. 
Hi, Pardeep. That's very sweet of you. He's giving me a compliment, but I won't read it out loud. <laughs> I got it. Um, someone's name is Adil Khan, aka King. That's a very interesting name. And he's asking what's my next film, which I believe I already answered, but I can tell you again. It will be Jagga Jasus, releasing in April. And um, then there's Kasim saying, I like your dance very much. Thank you, Kasim. I also love dancing and it makes me very, very happy. So guys, I believe that this is just about all we have time for. Okay, no, Mayuri is saying we still have time for two or three questions. <laughs> I am wrong. So let us see what the questions we have. Do you have watched Game of Thrones? You watch Game of Thrones. I watch Game of Thrones. I've watched I have been two days behind every uh every uh, every episode of it and I am a big Game of Thrones fan in fact there was one you reminded me there was one of my questions that said a learning you had in life it was on this paper somewhere one second uh, where was it somewhere on this paper but it said somewhere something that you have learned in life basically was a question like a learning you take away and that is going to be something which actually they repeat again and again in Game of Thrones where she keeps saying to Jon Snow that you know nothing Jon Snow. So that is what I believe that at this point if someone asked me I would say if I've learned anything in life is that I know nothing. We know nothing and every day is a learning and we unlearn and we relearn and uh, it's just a discovery. So yeah, that's my connection to Game of Thrones. So, any biopic Sumant is asking? You know, uh, there is no biopic yet, but you know, Sumant, the biopic which I would really love to do is um, is uh, is Mrs. Gandhi. I think that would make a, Indira Gandhi ji. I think it would make a very very interesting um, movie. And um, I don't believe anyone's made a film on her life. Yeah. So that would be that's the thought I have in my head. And Sahil is saying, Namaste London was an awesome movie. Well, that's really sweet of you, Sahil. It's a long time ago, but I'm happy that uh, you still remember the film. It was a amazing uh, experience for me. It was one of my first films where I think I had such an amazing role to play. And um, working with Vipul and Akshay, sir, was just... Um, it was one of my best film experiences, so I'm glad you liked the film. Okay, who's your favorite character in Game of Thrones? Jon Snow. I mean, that, that goes without saying, has to be Jon Snow. Aditya is asking, which is your favorite actor in Hollywood? Um, the guy from Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Um, someone is asking me, do I speak Spanish? No, no, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Not at all. And someone is asking me, do I speak Rajasthani? No, I don't, I don't either. No. But it's nice, it's nice that you guys uh, think so highly of me, um, that I speak so many languages. Um, okay, someone's asking a very interesting question. We'll skip over that one. Uh, Aditya, I have already answered that question. Uh, Jacob, two, two lines of Kala Chashma. Kala Chashma. Not two lines, but two words. That'll do. So guys, thank you so much. And um, I really, really enjoyed coming and meeting you all again and seeing you all again. And sorry it took such a long time. We are, and I will promise that I will try and be more regular and come more often on this amazing chat. Because you guys are all so sweet. And um, have a great night, day, whatever time of day it is in the part of the world you are. And I love you guys and thank you. <laughs>